Hi there, this is Andreas Kvibi. I am a Wix evangelist uh, for Wix Code uh, and work as well as a freelancer at the moment. Uh, I uh, th uh, threw out a showcase video about how to do some kind of live sharding uh, thing uh, using Wix and Wix Code. And I also promised to publish and show you the real uh, full video on how to do this. I think it's uh, quite an easy thing to uh, accomplish and it's uh, the usage of it is uh, tremendous. You can use it in dashboards uh, for your clients uh, showing uh, real-time visitors, uh, trackings, uh, orders, uh, shopping cart data, whatever you want to do. So the basic idea is to make a chart uh, update every second uh, like the Google Analytics do, which uh, moves the data from the right to the left uh, hand side of the uh, charting. Uh, just to make uh, some kind of a showcase here, I added the buttons here to add 1 point, 2 points, 3 points, 5 points and 10 points. So you can uh, draw data into the charting data object. Uh, so if you click one point, uh, it will add <coughs> a one pointer to the data. And as you can see, uh, the one pointer uh, on the scale is moving from the right hand side to the left hand side. Uh, and it depends on how many times you click a button every second there is a counter that increments with the values here for each second. So if I double click the one pointer button, it will add a, a new one here. So if I, I can click it fast and add uh, like a value with four points, uh, and that will also be uh, in. So it will rescale the sharding as I click the different as you can see here uh, the scaling of the shard will be different uh, if I click the different buttons here so if I click the 10 points I can really make the scaling of the shard smaller so this uh, of course depends and works dynamically depending on the data you send into the shards. Uh, the data is uh, only stored on this uh, 60 step uh, label as you can see at the bottom of the chart. So if you, if you don't do anything or if you don't get any orders or visitors or whatever thing you want to measure here and draw uh, it will show you uh, zeros and it will continue to work. So uh, as you can see, if I click slowly here, it will uh, add from the right hand uh, and then move back uh, like 10, 5, 3, 2 and 1 every second. So I can keep on playing with this uh, for a long time. I don't know if that makes me a Wix code nerd or sharding nerd. But you know, I think it's a, I think it's a really fun thing to do to your clients to be able to show data in these kind of things. You can design the chart any way you want, setting the colors, background colors, the points, everything you need to do. Uh, so uh, let's go back to the editor here and start by. <coughs> telling you that I use the chartjs.org uh, library because they have all kinds of uh, you can draw bar charting, line charting, radar, donuts, polar, bubble, scatter, area, mixed things. You can format it in a lot of various ways. So this library is really easy to implement using VIX code in your system. So to start with, uh, we need to have an HTML component 
like we have here. I've named it in the properties panel to live chart one uh, and I have added code here. So this has to be an HTML component added to your page and this is where we will send our sharding data and it will get rendered uh, inside this HTML component. So if we go here and look at what kind of code we need for the HTML component to, for, to work, uh, first of all, it's an it's a ordinary HTML page uh, and we are using the uh, CDN URL for the uh, Shart.js uh, script, the minimized version here. So you can see script source, blah blah blah, libs, Shart.js, 2.4 and so on. So by using the CDN version we our page will just get the script. We don't have to include anything else. Uh, this will probably be available as some kind of MP uh, to use the NPM uh, package uh, if you are more keen to doing that. Uh, I think that is a bit more advanced for a lot of people so I'm trying to make this to work because even non-coders or people that are not that skilled in coding can have this sample and uh, actually make it work. So I have the script uh, tag here and I have the window on message function here at line 7. So this will actually get data that we send from Wix code into the HTML component. So if there is data inside the event, it will call the function make shark with that actual data. <clears throat> Our function make shark uh, takes in the data here. It will search your HTML page for the uh, element my chart and it will get the context of that chart. So here you can see we have a canvas with an ID of my chart. So that means that the my chart canvas will be in the CTX variable. Then we are creating a new chart with that canvas here and then we have the type of chart which in this sample is line uh, the data for the data set is uh, the data values that we send in and uh, that will mean that we can send in uh, the uh, the uh, background colors the label and the actual charting data uh, the options for this I have uh, set here hard-coded in the HTML code. Of course, if you want to, you can have this inside Wix code as well and send it in. Uh, while we are doing live sharding data, uh, we would not want the tooltips or the hover uh, modes to be activated or the animations uh, when you move across the chart because we move the chart uh, so we rearrange the actual array so if we allow people to move over dots and values uh, the chart will jump all over the place so that's the reason we have this uh, disabled so this code uh, will be available for you uh, probably on the Wix show site uh, maybe also in the Wix code forums uh, later on. Uh, I will uh, post a gist or something with the code. So what I do, I've taken this code, copied it and pasted it into this HTML component. As you can see here, it's uh, the same code as we have in this window. Uh, and later on what I've done here is that I added the buttons to throw in some testing chart data. I have an on-click event in the properties panel for all the buttons. And if we go inside and see what the buttons do, you can see here for button 1 
it's increasing the value of the counter variable uh, with one uh, it will increase it by two by three by five by ten so this is just to put values in the sharding data for uh, for this sample so if we're going to walk you through the code uh, we can start at the top here and see that we have some chart options some labels which are defined as arrays we have the chart title the background color of the chart itself which you can see here the brownish color here and we also have a border color and we also have the actual chart data also an array we have a counter which is set to zero when we start we have the number of steps that we will have on the chart, which I have set to 60 to match uh, the number of seconds in a minute. And we will start on step 60. So when the uh, on ready event occurs here, the page is loaded, we are calling the function generate charting data, which we will look into. We are setting the counter to zero just to make sure and then we are going to create the labels for the chart dynamically and by uh, how we are going to do this well we are creating a for loop to walk from one to the number of steps which is 60 which will mean that we will get these labels created and then we take the labels array and we push in the numbers so this is just so we don't have to manually type in you know a new array here with all these uh, numbers from 1 to 59 so what we are going to do then then we are using the javascript function set interval which is a timer which will occur every by a thousand milliseconds so every second the code within the brackets here will execute so we will run our function generate sharding data every second we will also set back the counter to zero okay so that's why if you don't click any of the buttons we have on the page the value will be zero and that is the value that gets drawn on the chart then we have a function that i stole or got from stack overflow uh, how to move an item inside an array uh, inside an array from one position to another position this is not made by me uh, I just uh, copied it and pasted it in here. So it's a normal JavaScript function to move an item inside an array from one to another position. Okay, so let's move on here to the main function, which is the generate sharding data. This function gets executed uh, every second. So what we are going to do now? Well because we want the data to move from the right hand side of the charting to the left hand side we are always going to put the new charting data value on the last position so just outside the charting screen we will add in the new value whether this is a order sum or the number of logged in users or whatever you want to do we are adding it to the last position of the array here so then we are creating a new array which we are calling new data and this is the array object that we will send in to the html component to generate the whole sharding in the chart.js page so we are Sending in the labels, which is the array, which starts from 1 to 59 here. Uh, and we are creating a subarray here uh, that says data sets. And it takes the label that we uh, had here on top, like live chart. And it takes the border color. Uh, and we can use 
any data that the Shard.js uh, library uh, allows you to use, you can send in here. And we also are sending in the actual Shard data. Shard data is a global variable in this page. So whenever it changes, it will be sent in as the last changed version. <clears throat> So to send the data from Wix code into your HTML component, we are using the function post message of the H, uh, HTML component. So it's named live chart and uh, one, as you can see up on the right hand side here in the properties panel, we're using post message and we're throwing in the whole array here to make this work. And then we are redefining the shark data array, moving and sending in the actual the, or the current array, and we are moving it uh, from the current step the data is at uh, to the last uh, to the last step. So we are moving the data one step at a time in the right direction and by subtracting one from the step here uh, it will keep on moving the data from the last step of the array and move it backwards down to the number one in the array so by using this kind of technique we can move the data inside the array uh, one by one uh, according to our timer. So when we hit preview on this page, uh, you will start seeing when the first second has occurred that there is data coming in here. Uh, the value is zero uh, in the global counter uh, variable. Uh, if I click one here, it will add a new data point with a value of one. If I click two here, it will add a new value with, with 2 and the scale will go down because the highest value in the chart will define uh, the height of the uh, charting or the scale of it. So if I add 3 points, uh, um, 5 points, 10 points and I do like this, you will see that the actual data uh, will change and the scale will change and it will move from the right to the left. So I think it's a cool way to do it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed uh, the uh, current uh, sample or code. If you want to, uh, you know, if you want to create something uh, connected to data collection or something like that, uh, let me know or ask the Wix community channel to do it. Uh, write to me in the Wix code forums or go to the Wixshow.com site or the Wix Show uh, channel on YouTube to uh, see more about this or make any kind of comments. But uh, as I told you, I hope you enjoyed uh, this uh, sample and uh, that you also can uh, get it uh, working. I will uh, send the code or paste the code uh, for anyone to to see and uh, use uh, as uh, soon as uh, possible. If I don't, just uh, email me uh, at hello at wixshow.com and I will personally send it for you. So thank you again and hope to see you soon.